So good morning. So this is Satish Kumar from the Kumar College of Engineering and Technology. Already we discussed about the topics like uh, C programming, HTML, and the e-commerce like that. So today we're going to see about Python. So why we go for a Python language? So because we're having a lot of programming languages, right? So out of these, uh, nowadays, most of the companies using Java and Python. And Python is the most used thing programming languages in the companies. So before getting into the Python programming, so we let it to go into the, what is my programming languages? So what is my programming languages? So, so we're having a lot of programming languages like C, C++, Java, Python, R programming, like that. So what is the use of that languages? Uh, it's programming languages that are used to communicate two instruction into a computer. Because the instruct, uh, we given only the instruction to the computer. The computer cannot understand the, what the instruction be given to the input. So what the computer do? It should be converted into a missing understandable language. That is called as a programming language. So, so if all of the programming, we can the input are based on the programming. For example, if you want a C language, we given the input. In the A equal to 10 and B equal to 5 and C equal to 8 plus B. This is C programming language. We given the instruction to the, the computer and it is converted into the machine understandable code. So all of the programming languages doing like that. So we given the input and should be converted to machine language by using the help of assembler or interpreter, assembler and interpreter. So the programming languages is based on the syntactic and semantic rule. So we are having some rules to given the instructions. So based on these instructions, the programming language will perform. The next one is the computer can perform arithmetic operation using some specialized language called programming languages. So basically we perform, we want to perform some operation like arithmetic or logical operations like that. So we go for an programming language, any of the programming languages. So all the programming languages can perform this operation. So what are the types of programming languages? First one, machine level language, and assembly language, and high level language. So let's discuss about the machine level language and assembly language and high level language. So what is my machine level language? It is a machine language. Here are instructions written in the binary code. So what is my binary code? The machine understand only the zeros and ones. Uh, it looks like like that over a combination of one, one, one and zero. So zero and one are called as a binary. Here all the operations perform are using the binary form. Uh, suppose we give the programming that is in uh, programming in C and C++. It should be converted in the combination of zeros and ones. That is called as a binary format. Because the machine understand only the zeros and ones. It uh, cannot understand our languages. And the programming languages. So after given the operation, it should be performed, converted into this binary code. The binary the machine and machine can understand only the binary codes. That is the machine language. Next one, assembly language. So what is the assembly language? Programs written in machine level language and very difficult to read and modify. Uh, so we write a program, um, but it is very difficult to read or modify. So what it happens. So we, by using this assembly language, using this sort word known as mnemonic to represent the each instruction. Uh, that means uh, given this uh, shortcut form, that means shortcut descriptive word form, and it is uh, easy to understand the code. For example, if you want to adding up two numbers, we given the sort descriptive word as add. And then subtract two numbers, we will give the SUB, that is a subtract. Add two comma four comma results. So based on this assembly language, what, what will be the result? So add two comma four. The result is a six because we given the uh, short distributive word called add. So what is the 
add operation that is an adding of two numbers. So two plus four and then save it in the variable called result. The result equal to six. So that is an assembly language. So this is a format uh, that should be converted into the uh, machine that means the converted programming to machine code. First thing is the word A add two comma three comma result. So two two and three is an uh, integer number and it is stored in the variable called result. So after given the instruction, it goes to the assembler. The assembler should convert the uh, programming code to missing code. So the converter is a binary code, 0, 1, 0, 1, like that. That is a combination of zeros and ones. Next one, high level language. So what is a high level language? These uh, programs are written by using high level language. Uh, so why using of high level language. It consists of normal English and easy to learn and use. So it is uh, written by and simple English and it is easy to learn. This program run in the different types of machine. Uh, write a program, we can run the program in different types of machine. The instruction in high level language is called the statement. Uh, given the instruction through the high level languages, uh, that it is called as a statement. So examples high level language, we can see C Plus Java and Python. So in these programming languages are divided into following categories. The first one, interpreted programming language, functional programming language, and compiled programming language. Um, in this, uh, in the, out of these three, we are in uh, different programming languages. First one is an interpreter. Here, most of the instruction executed directly without compiling the program. That means uh, we given the instruction, it should not be compiled, but it directly interpreted and it gave we got the output. Uh, some of the examples for programming languages are basic Python and Pascal. So in Python, we write a code, and we directly we interpreted the code. We can't don't need to compile this code. Next one is a functional programming language. It is defined as every calculation perform using mathematical evaluation. There is a predefined function. So in this functional programming language, all the functions that should be performed by the predefined function. Some of the languages are clean and curry. And then compiled programming language. So already we know about that uh, compiled programming language. So after uh, having the program, we want to compile and then uh, execute the program. That is a compiled programming. Here, compiler translates source code into missing code. Uh, once you given the program, you have to compile that. After compiling, it should be translated into missing code. The source code is a programming. Uh, so likewise, you uh, write the program in C, C++, Java, or so basic. So after, uh, after completing the program, you just compile that. After the compilation, your program is converted into missing code. That means combination of zeros and ones combination. Zeros and ones. That's what is a markup programming language. So what is the markup programming language? This markup programming language is basically using our HTML and XML. So HTML is a hypertext markup language. Uh, why we, it is called as pro, uh, markup programming language? It is a language that should be uh, using in the web page. That means to uh, creating a web page and display the contents into the web page. That is so using of HTML and XML. Next one, object oriented programming language. It is based on the concept of object which may contain data or attributes and methods. So, in our uh, C programming, we have to create a object type. So based on this object uh, programming run, and also the Python is also same than C++. So since it is the C++, Python is an object-oriented programming languages. So next one is a Python program history. So in the Python was created by Guido one person. In, it is derived from the other languages called the ABC, Modulo 3, C++, and Alga, and Smalltalk, and Unix. It got named from Monty Python Flying Circus. So it is one of the story uh, why it is uh, 
language called python so the python is a general purpose interpreter in fact to architecture and high level only so already we see about the interpreter and interactive and architecture written high level only so it is a python is a architecture written high level programming language because the python is working based on object and the high level it is directly uh, compiled and then convert into the missing code and also in an interpreter language the python is released in the year of 1991 the support both 32 and 64 bit integers so python is a high level language so python is a high level language it is looks like a normal english uh, so compared to the other languages the python is very very easy language easy to write the program so that means you have to write the simple uh, line of program is most compatible with human language so whatever we speak the same thing is given in the python it is also interpreter language here when the run time uh, the interpreter directly compiled the program you no need to compile your program before using it python support of the door enter and the beginner language and very this an interactive language you can type in the python code in fact the interpreter directly write the program some of the features and attributes of python it is a general purpose and structured programming language that's one easy to learn easy to maintain free and open source and high level language extensible libraries so this is an interpreter mode. you just type the program in the uh, python cell just uh, type in this cell to plus two and then press enter you got the output of the so the python interface is a program that reads and executes the python code so once the uh, python code is over you have to store the python program with the expression called dot py so after uh, save the program it starts the python interpreter by clicking the python icon or typing the python idl that is an uh, id on a command line and click the file and new file So this is the thing that you have to follow the Python programming. So this is the basic about Python. We will we'll discuss the remaining things in the next video. Thank you.